Courage Your Knight here. Welcome back to some Let's Play Final Fantasy. And you guys know the deal by now. We're just going to continue on with our our main quest and uh, get some side quests. Basically, we're going to do that until another class quest pops. And then we can um, get on with our next job. So let's head over here. Turn these in. You adventurers never cease to prove your worth. Now I can get those cowardly miners back to doing the only thing they're good for, digging. The mithril veins are still no more than rumors, but if every miner flees at the slightest sign of danger, we'll never know for sure. I may need some I may need to hire you on a regular basis to call those bloody imps. I fear it will be quite a while before any proper mining can be done. Have you gotten all the cloud marble samples I need, Kreejior? So this is the cloud marble I've heard so much about. Gods. Look at the glimmer in the stone. I must admit I've never seen it for myself. I had only heard of it. I see now why the mithril rumors have risen. Now you listen to me, you bloody rock. The Golden Mazar is counting on you. If this talk of Mithril turns out to be a farce, I swell by the twelve I'll dig up every last pebble of you myself, grind you to powder, and sell you to the chocobo stables to sop up piss and runny shite. Hmm. Yes, well, sorry about that. It's just that ever since the war saw the road to Alamigo cut off, the bazaar has fallen on tough times. It is a waypoint choked off from its way, and is now little more than a point. But I will not let it be so. I'm going to make the Golden Bazaar golden once more. From there I'll become one of the richest men in Thanalan. Then I'll finally be able to give Caitlyn the life those mongrels stole from her. She held on a memory of my brother for so long. She's become blind to the people who care for her. People like, well, er... I don't suppose you could keep that last bit from Caitlyn, could you? No problem, friend. He loves this, he loves this, uh... Okay, well, maybe that's going a bit far, actually, now that I think about it. It seems the Twelve aren't intent on plaguing me all my days. Before with imps and now with the earth sprites. I, or I ordered a haul of digging tools from a merchant to the north. He was headed down from the Black Shroud when the earth sprites overtook him. Luckily he was able to escape from Camp Drybone with his life. I need you to make that road safe, friend. Put down three of these earth sprites to keep the others at bay and ease the minds of any traveling merchants. Once the deed is done, find the merchant Ririmaki at Camp Drybone and tell him to bring his haul the rest of the way here. <laughs> Alright. Getting off some big hits now.
Have you business here again, friend? Cloud marble. To make in a tombstone for Edward's sister? That boy is nothing if not trouble. It was all I could do to convince him not to go looking for the stone on his own. Still, I suppose it can't be helped after losing a loved one is never easy. And thank you for your part in this. I will see the marble is used as Edward's wishes. Okay. Gods, you venture sure are kind folk. Now all I need is a coin for the funeral. I'm going to stay on here at church for a bit and help out. Wouldn't be right leaving everything up to someone else. I mean more to my sis if I do what I can on my own. It'll mean more to my sis. Brother Esmord and Sister Ariel, or Errol, are good folk too. They say I don't need no gill to bury me sister here, but I know how it works. I'll take coin to send her over to Thal proper. You fought off the sprites? Gods bless you for that, stranger. Lulua will have her tools. I fled here out of fear of my life, but I've come to regret that. Have you taken a look about? There are bodies littering the grounds. Dead bodies. I have no desire to stay here any longer than I must. Once I see to it my birds once I see to it my birds fit for travel, I'll be making for the golden bazaar. Okay. Sister Orson was attacked outside the Golden Bazaar? God's forfend. I will send or I will secure a room at the inn for her should she require any rest. Searching for the mementos of orphans and risking her own well being in doing so no less? Certainly not the dastardly deed Thancred would have us believe. Hmm. Disciple of War, great. I am well glad I reserved that inn room for Sister Orson. It seems she received greater injuries from her attacks than initially let on. Thankfully, she is expected to make a full recovery. But now on to the matter at hand. Thangrit came looking for you once more. He left word that he will be waiting at the Amaja encampment to the southeast. I pray the two of you are able to uncover some evidence or some evidence regarding these disappearances. Okay. Let's get over here and see what uh, Thangrid has to say.
Ah, there you are, Krajior. So good of you to come. Indeed, I've heard all about your good sister Orion. Orson. Isambar said her wounds were si weren't s were serious. It would seem my suspicion about the poor Rose were misplaced. But false though they were, perhaps my suspicions were not entirely without merit. Whilst, f whilst following Sister Orson near the Golden Bazaar, a band of Amajal caught my eye. I tracked them as far as this encampment, but... Well, let us say that I would prefer much to keep my distance and remain here. This, is, this of course, bring me, brings me to why I requested you, dear Krajior. Would you be so kind as to take this look inside? Take a look inside. Let's run. Oh, we've been over here, I believe, just before we've, we were over here. We pro well, maybe we can get past that guy. Let's try. We can, we can, we can walk past that guy. I have a feeling we're not going to be able to walk past this guy. We can walk by that guy. A queer leaflet. Let's run back to Thancred. Hopefully that guy doesn't see us. Ran right in front of him. Well, anything tickle your fancy? This leaflet. See the wealth of Nald to the hands of your children. It looks to be some sort of assembly to provide the poor with work. The lettering, though, atrocious, is it not? And these bits about Nald Thal seem, what, seem somewhat less than studied. I find it hard to believe one among the order penned this. Pray take this to the inn at Camp Drybone. Let's see what Sister Orson makes of it. All right. We'll meet you over there. My savior comes again. To what do I owe this? To what do I owe the honor this day? What's this? Blasphemous. These are not our teachings at all. This was not made by any true brother or sister of the order. Of that I can assure you. Come to think of it, weeks ago the church was plagued by missing garments. Could someone be posing as a priest of the order to deceive the people? Interesting. The plot thickens, Courageor. Our culprit pretends to be a priest to lend credence to his deception. There's no doubt any irony in this. There is no doubt irony in this somewhere. But I suspect we have a worthy adversary on our hands. I shall consider how to best handle this for now. Tell Isambard we have learned what we have learned here. Posing as a priest? To think. These troubling notions aside, it is gratifying to finally be able to move this investigation forward. Thank you once again, Courageo. I shall keep my eyes and ears open. Now more than ever.
I'm afraid I have not seen anything on you or any unusual activity. Nor have any at this camp given me cause to doubt them. But unless we can identify the culprit, and soon more innocents will fall victim. Do not despair just yet, my friend. An idea occurs to me. Our suspect has been posing as priest, using leaflets bearing false promises to lure the poor. Let Corregior and me serve like with like by posing as impoverished souls in need of succor. Ah, I dare to hope that this will yield us the answers we seek. It will be a dangerous undertaking, but you are you are you two are more than capable of looking after yourselves. True. I'm next to useless in a battle, but I can supply the garments for the disguise. These old tunics and slops should serve your needs. So long as you don't mind the smell and stains. These will serve very very well. You have my thanks. Listen, Courage Yours, so as to lay the foundation for our little ploy. We must make it widely known that more vagrants have arrived at, arrived at camp and are desperate for coin. To this end, I want you to, I want you to don the old gar garments Isambard has lent us and beg for work around the camp. Before long, the false priest should catch wind and approach us. Okay. Let's throw on... Uh this weathered shepherd's tunic is is there any anything else that weathered shepherd slops shoes there's no shoes is there any gloves no gloves okay I preach the teachings of Aziema, the warden. Hast thou come to partake the, of the honey of her wisdom? Aziema is keeper of the sun and goddess of the of inquiry. All is laid bare beneath the light of her divine countenance. Her countenance. Open thy heart to this light, needy child, and thou shalt want for naught till the end of days. Hmm, and you are? Uh, not another refugee by the look of you. Another refugee by the look of you. The immortal flames have neither work nor coin for your like. Be gone and see to it that you don't make a nuisance for yourself. So, wow, is that really... Is that what the immortal flame's about, really? Greetings, good sir. Is there aught amiss I can assist you? I might assist you with? Oh, I don't believe there is. I'm afraid our wares are very expensive. Mayhap you should rejoin your fellows out at the pond north of the sand gate. Okay. What is it? God, it's not again. Look, being poor doesn't give you the right to pester whoever you like. Why don't you keep with your own kind out by that muddy pond of yours at the dry bone? Rude. They all... It's like everyone's ungust now. And I was about to get to the good part. Looking for work, you say? Sorry, but we don't have any openings. Now get out of here so I can finish my story. Great. Thank you.
You have quite a knack for being a nuisance, Courageor. The camp is abuzz with talk of newly arrived vagrants. And though we were unable to attract our wayward transgressor, we were able to learn that the poor have communed by the pond north of the sand gate to the east of here. The eyes of the authorities do not reach that place, rather ideal for spiriting away hapless souls. Let us go. Let us go there and wait for the kindly priests to come and offer us aid and comfort. Needless to say, you'll need to remain in disguise. Okay. Looks like someone... We can help out, why not? Let's help out. The fate. A fine evening for catching false priests, wouldn't you say? You look absolutely smashing, Grigior. Positively dressed for deception. All that's left then is to wait for our quarry to appear. Oh, you poor unfortunate souls. This is no way for men to live. No way at all. Who are you and what do you want? Be at ease, child, for I mean you no harm. I am a priest of the order of Nodthal, and I come to offer you succor. This leaflet bears a teaching of Nald. Trust to them, and they will surely set you free from your shackles of penury. Penury. Hmm. Hmm. A tempting offer, but I'm afraid I must decline. On account of that atrocious performance, you would have made a god's awful murmur on Gust. Oh, well. What? How, how did you know? You, you bastards tricked me? Please don't hurt me. I was only doing it to protect my people. Is that so? Do continue. V very well. I'm a man of the Golden Bazaar, raised there, if not born. Some moons ago, the Amalja raids began. They would appear sudden as a sand, as sudden as a sandstorm, and plunder a village or plunder and pillage without will or at will. Wow. Our defenders couldn't stand against them. Few as they were, everyone lived in fear. I wanted to save my people, but being a merchant was all I knew. And so I did the only thing a merchant could. I approached the Amalja in hopes of brokering a deal. In return for sparing the Golden Bazaar, they made demands. Outrageous ones. Demands? Of what kind, pray tell? First of all, they wanted the schedule for crystal shipments from Nanawa Mines. For this, I bribed one of the workers to leak me the information. Next... They wanted me to bring them people, 
so I pose as a priest to lure in the vulnerable and give them over to the Amajal, or the Al Amaljo. I didn't have a choice. Protecting one home, one's home is a noble thing, but at the cost of innocence? You could have sought the aid of the immortal flames, yet you did not. I suspect you are not telling me the full story. What made you sell out your own people? Speak. The was good. What did you say? The coin was good, I said. I could sell mole meat for a, so for a score of a lifetime and not even see a fraction of what the Imajal pay me. You sacrifice innocence so you could lie in your own pockets? Words, words fail to express the contempt I feel for you. Spare me your contempt. If you want to blame someone for this mess, for the mess in the world, the mess the world's in, then blame yourself for the gods. Ah, not you again. Were you the one leaking the Immortal Flames patrol routes to the enemy as well? Spit it out. No, I know nothing about that, I swear. At this stage, I'm rather disclined to believe aught that leaves your mouth. But no matter, there'll be time enough to learn the truth. Courageor, be a good man and take word of these developments to Minfilia, would you? I shall prize everything I can out of this filth. The abductees are still somewhere out there. Our foremost, our foremost priority is to rescue them. Okay, let's run back to uh, Vesper Bay. Could have figured that scumbag Ungust was uh, up to something, involved, some kind of way. Not surprised. Welcome back, Krajior. I'm pleased that you and Thancred have been getting along. I see. You have done well to uncover the truth. My thanks for the report. As Thancred said, we must ascertain where the abducted were taken. And none but the Amalja know the answer. Suffice it to say, they are not willingly part of this... They will not willingly part with this information. I fear blood will be spilled before all is said and done. Though, though we seek a peaceful solution to the primal problem, we must needs be ready for a fight or to fight our, for our cause, that you might take the field suitably prepared. I would have you meet with a goblin acquaintance of mine. His name is Mutamix Bubblypots, and he's a scholar of no small repute. Mutamix is renowned for having introduced a rev revolutionary method of enhancing equipment in Eorzea. The knowledge of this method was once a closely guarded secret, but thanks to Mutamix, Mutamix and his students, it has now been disseminated to the greatest benefit of all the realm. 
it would serve you well to acquire an understanding of the process. For this purpose, I shall lend you a blade. Take it to Mutamix and bid him, bid him use it to demonstrate his craft to you. Mutamix is ever, Mutamix is ever to be found at his camp in Central Thanalon, a place known as the Bonfire. Look for a pillar of smoke, and the way will become clear. Okay. I wonder where this place is here. Here we are, the bonfire. Go? Who is Uplander come to tent ring of Mutamix bubbly pots? Fighty Tool drinks in airy self. When full of airy self, Fighty Tool changes to Stone Shine, name of Materia. If Materia joins with other Fighty Tool, then Big Eyes. Fighty Tool gains power of airy self. Mutamix is reckoning that Uplander is friend of Menphelia. Ah, yes. Tongue flaps reach ears of Mutamix with fastness. Menphelia wants Uplander to see power of materia. Uplander brings Fighty Tool to Mutamix, yes? Fighty Tool is unstrong as Eating Tool. Make good Tichi show off power of materia. The Materia Master. Now eyes of Uplander point at Fighty Tool, yes? Materia join with Fighty Tool. Fighty Tool gain power of Materia. Fighty Tool reborn. Here, Uplander, take Fighty Tool to Minphelia. Materia, strictly speaking, is a kind of crystal. It is created by drawing out the etheric constituents from a piece of equipment and then crystallizing them. Not just any old equipment will serve, mind you. It must have sufficient spirit bond. That being a measure of how full, how fully an item has been imbued with its own spirit, with its owner's spirit. When you attach a piece of materia to gear, you imbue the host's item with its power. That's how Master Mutamix turned that dagger of yours from Samat uh, as would have struggled to cut stake into a weapon worth wielding. Uplander wishes to join to be joiner of materia? Then Uplander best fill brain casing brain case with knowings of crafty making. Brain case 
If Uplander wants Brain Case to rattle with knowings of Materia, Uplander best trade Tongue Flaps with Learny Ones of Mutamix. Okay. Sounds like we... Do we need to talk to this? Materia Extraction. Interesting. Let's get that. What would you say if I told you that inanimate objects can possess a soul? They can, believe it or not, although the soul in question is not their own, but that of their owner. Though faithful servant, through faithful service, the arms and armor that we use come to hold our spiritual energy. Thus we form a spirit bond with them. The spiritual energy can be drawn out and converted into materia, a special kind of crystal that can be attached to gear to enhance its properties. I am well versed in the ways of materia extraction. If you wish to learn more about the process, it would be my pleasure to teach you. You are ready to commence your learning? Good. As you will have gathered by now, materia is crystallized form of one's spiritual energy. As this energy is derived from an individual's psyche, a volatile beast at the best of times, a degree of variance, a degree of variance is to be expected in its production. In practice, this means you won't know the exact properties of a stone until you cradle it in your hands. Now, materia won't grant you much of anything on its own. Its power must be tapped, see? And this is achieved by meddling it to gear, melding it to gear. Know, though, that it takes a deft hand of a craftsman to meld materia. You can always seek others to attach materia on your behalf, but if you would sooner do it yourself, I would recommend you speak with Phobos. Melding is her field of expertise. If you wish to remove material from an item, highlight its icon and select retrieve material. Seems like we can't uh, learn that yet, which is okay. Let's run back to Minfilia. Welcome back, Kreejur. I trust your visit to the bonfire proved tr fruitful? Ah, what a remarkable difference a single piece of materia can make. Granted, the skills needed to manipulate the substance are not easily acquired. But one need only to look upon the results to realize such efforts are worthwhile. I am sure you are aware the quality of one's equipment can be the difference between victory and defeat. Materia may well give you the edge you need, Kreejur, so make it your ally. Now it's time we discuss the matter of your next mission. Pray speak with me when you are ready to begin. A weapon coffer. Is that what we've, uh, we just received? A weapon, oh we did, nice. Let's see what's in it. Oh, we got a staff. A worse staff than it's the same staff and this scepter is level 28 but there's no difference besides one magic damage and maybe a materia slot oh but the speed as well hmm
Word has arrived from Thancred concerning our ongoing investigation. It appears he was able he, it appears he was able to extract some information from our friend Ungust the false priest. He revealed that he is due to meet with the Amajal to discuss their dealings. The Immortal Flames believe that the meeting will present an ideal opportunity to ambush and capture the Malja responsible for the abductions, so they mean to have Ungus attend as planned. As the Amalja are anticipated to offer fierce resistance, the Immortal Flames have requested our support. I would have you provide it to them, Kareejor. Thancred is presently attending to another matter, but will join you as soon as he is able. Until such time as he does, you will be the Scion's sole representative on the ground. Before he left, he bade me to tell you to save some for him. Such is his confidence in you, a confidence that I share. When you have made ready, pray take yourself to Camp Drybone and report to the Flame Sergeant leading the mission. May you walk in the light of the crystal. Okay, let's go to Camp Drybone. Ah, your courage, your knight of the scions? My thanks for coming, friend. We're stronger for your assistance. Allow me to brief you on our mission. Our objective is to capture Amalja and a priest from them, the whereabouts of the abduct abductees. The lizard men aren't aware that their man, Ungust, has been exposed. When they come to the rendezvous point to meet with the traitor, we'll spring in the trap. Owing to the clandestine nature of our mission, we can, we can deploy a only a small contingent. Every member must count, and so we requested the aid of the Scions. The rendezvous will take place at the Invisible City. Please make your way there in line wait. We stand to learn much we, we stand to learn much and more of the Amajal plot if the mission succeeds, Kreejor. Let's make sure it does. Okay, let's take, uh, Chocobo, um, how oh, was he up? Oh, Jesus is up here, okay. here we'll just hop off Got synced all the way down to 24.
Is the bait in place? Our man is in position, sir. Good. We make our move as soon as the Amalja appear. Yes, sir. What is the meaning of this? Wait, something's amiss. Oh, snap. Oh, this bastard. Oh, this bastard. I'm afraid your little ambush ends here. I eluded the immortal flame's clutches for moons before finally being caught. Did you not wonder how I managed it? It was almost if someone was feeding him information from the inside. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Aye, your every movement was known to me ahead of time. Now, as much as I'd love to chat a while, I have appointments to keep. They're all yours. No one's gonna stab him or anything while he just... Alright, let's see what we can do here. Which one of them is healing? This guy's definitely healing. That's gotta be the boss. Let's get rid of this guy.
I thought you had a uh, an appointment. Put up your weapons, or your comrade's a dead man. Behind you! Oh, too late. Got him. Or not. Who would do that? Hmm. We're gonna pass out, really? Come on, we can't pass out. Bring him. The rest of you, march. Traitorous scum. I fear the Amalja mean to give us to their gods as an offering. If I must die, then let me die a soldier's death with steel in hand. Oh, what? Well, let's go see what's going on in here. We'll take some NPCs. Oh. Look at that boss. Let's get rid of this guy. Lord of the Inferno, hearken to our plea. Lord of the Inferno, deliver us from misery. Well, I think you guys are probably all gonna die. Almighty oh, Ifrit, Lord of the Inferno. Ifrit. Oh, crap. Your humble servants beseech you. Grace us with your divine presence. Oh. What? 